Hey BC, it's Green A. Uh, want to do another metal and hard rock uh, video, and this will be for the ends. And this will be real quick because I don't have very many ends at all. I have a few I haven't listened to yet, haven't put away, so they won't be in here. Uh, Going to get started. First up is uh, nuclear assault, the plague. On uh, combat, everybody knows uh, Dan Lilker uh, started with Anthrax. Left started this band. Next, uh, No Trouble. It's a German press, I believe. Just uh, early metal. Here. Uh, next is a split with Not Fragile and uh, the Iron. And Not Fragile was an older metal band. Uh, it's called Masters of Metal. And uh, this is on Hellion, limited to 500. And this is only a few years old. I guess they got back together, did this, and uh, here is an old, not fragile, who dares wins, and uh, i trying to remember, I believe these guys were German, maybe, I can't remember now, but, and I don't see the year on this either. Uh, next is uh, John Norm, uh, Total Control, and this was the guitar player from Europe, after he left Europe, the solo, it's from 87. Uh, remember hearing uh, back in the day that he was unhappy with how Europe kind of was headed, which was you know, total radio, over the top stuff. Because if you go back and listen to the first couple of Europe albums, it's like straight up metal. You know. And uh, so he left, and I guess he had like a really big uh, Malmsteen fetish. So yeah, I guess he was kind of trying to go in that direction. Next, uh, uh, really goofy cover. Band is Noise Toys, Fallen in Lust. And you can kind of tell by the cover what these guys sound like. This is from uh, New Year again. It's on Dream, or excuse me, Dr. Dream Records. I'm thinking this is like 86, 87. It's crazy. Uh, next is. Nitro, OFR. This band was totally over the top. Uh, crazy guitar player and crazy singer. Uh, it's on Rampage, 1989. The singer is uh, Jim Gillette. And the guitar player was Michael Angelo. You can see his guitar with the four necks and all. And he would switch back and forth. It was crazy. And there's actually video, pretty recent video, I believe, on YouTube of this guy. And he's just a crazy guitar player. It's worth checking out. But uh, Jim Gillette, of course, married Lita Ford. And I think they just got divorced. And he's like a multi-multi-millionaire, evidently, now. He's some kind of big business guy. He owns his own island. That's where uh, him and Lita Ford lived, I guess, raising their children. It's pretty crazy. Uh, next is a box set for Nightwish, the Golden Wishes. This has four albums in it. it. has Angels Fall First, Oceanborn, Wishmaster, excuse me, three albums, and uh, special tracks, which are just edited things and some single versions. But uh, 
These are all picture discs. Here's the special track. Nightwish is like a symphonic uh, metal, like a uh, singer and female opera style, I guess you could say. It's uh, Angels Fall First. She's since left the group, uh, went solo, and they have a different singer now. But, uh, don't pretend to know a lot about them. I like some of their stuff. Uh, some of this earlier stuff here. And the last one is uh, Wishmaster. It was kind of cool. Ran into the box set, so I grabbed it at a cheap price. And this also came, it's kind of cool, with a uh, turntable mat. And a poster. These guys were pretty big for a little while. I guess they still kind of are. But uh, like I said, I don't really follow them too much. And then I have uh, some regular pressings of the same albums, uh, Wishmaster, Ocean Born, and Angels Fall First, same three albums. Alright, next up is uh, Nightwing, Black Summer. This is old Gaul. These guys were, you know, kind of late '70s hard rock. This act, this album's from '82, uh, but they were kind of, uh, I guess, like a, like a budgie kind of thing, a holdover from the '70s that kind of got, you know, picked up with the new wave of British heavy metal. And next, a uh, thrash classic, Nelson After the Rain. Everybody knows Nelson. Just uh, big cheese. This is actually a good album. It's just got a bad rap, I guess. But with hair like that, what do you expect? Uh, next band, I was really kind of stoked to find this. And I always thought they were from Pittsburgh, and I'm still not sure. I need to do some more investigating, I guess, on the internet. It may be a, may have been from Atlanta. But when I was in college. Uh, around the Morgantown, West Virginia area. This band used to play there every once in a while, a couple times a year or something. I saw them a couple times. It's Necropolis, uh, Contemplating Slaughter. Just a pretty much thrash band. Man, they were just really cool. They'd come into town and play this little bar. And just tear the place up. But this is uh, it's pretty wild. It's on Bump Records, Greg Shaw's label. I don't know if Vault did too much metal, but here's one. A uh, really good band. Uh, next, uh, Nasty Savage, Abstract Reality. This is a four song EP on Metal Blade. And finally, uh, the first Nasty Savage, self titled on Combat. Of course, nasty Ronnie on vocals. Just raw metal. Like I say, that's it. Not very many ends at all. And there may be about that many more on the, uh, the shelf that uh, the To Be Listened To shelf. So. So that's it. We'll end it there. And uh, thanks for watching. Leave some comments if you uh, want to. Thanks.